All right, everybody, what's going on? I'm Shorty Index, and we're going to be talking about Call of Duty again today. Isn't that going to be fun? Here's the thing. The Call of Duty gods will give us, and the Call of Duty gods will take us. The last video was a literal over-the-top toxic rant about SPMM and Call of Duty and how it's killing the game. I then didn't play for the next two days after that, and I get on, and an update requires restart. Why? Because it's Call of Duty 2023 and every single time they do anything to the game, you gotta restart the whole game, do a download, and then have free updates require restarts. But that's off topic. Upon loading in, I then hit Hardcore Quick Play because that's all I play is Hardcore. I don't want to go use meta guns to get like three kills a game. I also don't want to have, oh never mind, there's UAV spam in this one too, so <laughs> it doesn't matter about that part. I just don't want to use meta guns. But for some reason, whenever they decide randomly that they're going to turn off your filters on your selection of Quick Play, you then get thrown into a random game. And that's exactly what happened right here. I have not played Domination since Black Ops 3. Other than when Call of Duty since 2019 randomly decides to turn off the filter selection that you have for your uh, Quick Plays. Only then do I load into a Domination match and I'll play that one game. And 90% of the time since Black Ops 3, it is terrible. And when I loaded into this one, when the match had already started, I was already thinking, oh my god, here we go. The team hadn't really been capturing flags, and I was pretty certain we were going to lose. But I decided to play it out as a nice little warm-up before I go over to TDM and do my normal things where I get mad over there. It started to start capturing flags, and then all of a sudden my teammate goes, hey, that guy's capturing flags. I think that's what you're supposed to do in this game mode. And they start to capture flags. And then that spilled out into the entire lobby playing a true-to-form actual domination match for once. Domination used to be so good before, you know, Warzone came out. Once Warzone came out, that killed objective-based game modes. Let me explain. Stop. Let me explain. Before Warzone ever came out, it used to be a push-pull game mode, Domination, where one team would push and try to get more points than the other team, and their flags would help rotate the map, and there would be objectives to keep players constantly in battles with each other. After Warzone's released, it just became a weapon grinding simulator where people just hid and just leveled up their guns. Instead of the game mode being this fun, over-the-top, objective-based game mode, it instead became this place where people who wanted to play the game got completely blown away by the people who just wanted to just grind guns and get kills, which killed pretty much every objective-based game mode in the entire game. From search and destroy where you got have guys that wouldn't push a bomb objectives nothing they just wanted to get a certain amount of kills to unlock attachments or whatever they were doing they just wouldn't leave their spawn to hard point where people just grinded their weapon camos and never even go on the hard point domination where they would have zero caps after a 10 minute game and the first cap is a neutral flag meaning they really went out of their way to not capture anything this was because Warzone incentivized people to play the multiplayer solely to level up their guns for Warzone. So we saw another example of a free-to-play game controlling the paid experience for other players. If you're not a Warzone player, you've spent a lot of money in the last five years on Call of Duty. For simple math, because everybody lives everywhere, roughly $350. Unless you're Canadian, then that's like $1,000. I only learned this because I posted a video of me purchasing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and people were like, yo, in Canada, that shit's 90 bucks. Apparently it's just more expensive here. But with the flood of Warzone players coming into Call of Duty multiplayer simply to, to only level up their guns, it killed pretty much every game mode and ironically TDM was the one that they left alone. The reason for this was because TDM wasn't long enough for them. They, they enjoyed the fact they could extend a domination match to almost 15 minutes if they didn't capture any flags. Hard points another one where if they don't do anything it extends that timer out a lot longer. Do you know how hard it is to actually play the objective when the other team is not playing the objective and all they're trying to do is kill you? Pretty damn hard. So I was very relieved that when I, we started capturing flags in this one it became a classic experience and the entire time I was sitting there I was thinking like wow this is the closest I'm gonna get to Modern Warfare 2 in 2023 in Modern Warfare 3. Because Activision is a bunch of idiots and they named it in the most convoluted, stupid way ever. So I can't reference it easily without being confused myself. But to make it simpler, it's the closest I'm going to get to that Call of Duty experience that I grew up with. I was having so much fun in this lobby. It wasn't even it wasn't even comparable to anything I played up to this point. Minus the Groot skin running around and being basically invisible. It was a pretty damn good lobby. There was pushing, there was pulling, there's lots of kills, there's lots of deaths. I will always bring you guys my average gameplays because I don't want you guys to think I'm top tier gamer and I also don't want you guys to think that I'm a terrible gamer. It's just going to be my middle point. So we didn't reverse boost nothing. This is the first game after the last game. That Afghan game was the last time I played this game and I made that video 10 seconds after I finished that game. And this was the first game that I played when I got back on. Now I've had this theory about SBMM and that's just that if you don't play for a couple days they make it really low so then you'll have a couple good games get hooked and then they'll turn it on slowly as you play. 
I have a feeling that was going to happen here, but I played this one game and dipped last night. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> but with objective-based game modes, I find that people that play objectives don't actually have the reward capabilities that they need. And that's what I really want to talk about real quick. In objective-based game modes, nobody goes for the flag usually. Nobody plays the hard point. Nobody really does any of the objective-based game modes because all they're there for is to grind skins for their guns. The only reason that's not an issue this year is because they carried over Modern Warfare 2 progression to Modern Warfare 3. If there was a new war zone, then you would 100% be having the same issues. But maybe because of the fact that they didn't do that and you're just carrying over the guns and everything's usable, we're getting a more relaxed feel to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 domination game modes, the OBGA game modes. That is until the new war zone drops and then the war zone gets a massive resurgence and then a bunch of people come over here to start ruining our domination. I do have a simple solution for this Activision. Like always, I don't like to just complain in my videos. I want to give you a solution. So here's my solution. Objective based score streaks. Imagine this, you're playing domination, your team's losing, you, you're capping flags like crazy. Three flags, you get a UAV. Six flags, you get a helo or whatever the kill streaks. You can keep the kill streaks the same and just have it be the tied to the flag captures imagine on hard point you you sit on the hard point 15 seconds that's a uav 45 seconds you get a helo or whatever you get what i'm saying make it so play players will play the objective rather than trying to get kill streaks they can go play the objective oh, but shorty they, they, they have um score streaks already in the game stuck using score streaks is dumb you need to reward objective based play i can get score streaks by killing people but if I got rewarded for capturing flags, you bet your ass the lobbies would be filled with people capturing the flags. It would be such a great way for casual players to go and get things that are a little bit higher. I finished games with 20 captures of a flag. I finished games with 20 defends of the same flags. If I was rewarded for that heavier and allowed my player to actually be able to use different skill score streaks, they could even have a whole separate tier bracket for objective-based game player. Where is a UAV more usable in objective-based gameplay? TDM, it's useless. Everyone's everywhere. Where would a UAV be clutch? Objective-based game modes. Where's a stealth bomber useful? Objective-based game modes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One more. Where would having an Overwatch helo be good? Objective-based game modes. The score streaks are all meant to defend and protect you while you do objectives. That's the whole point in them in real life too. They protect soldiers while they do objectives. So if they tied it to an objective-based score streak, you would have so much more use out of them. Everyone's running them in TDM just to get kills. Imagine if they actually used them to objectively take over a side of the map or a flag or a hard point. Oh, it'd be so good. This is what I'm just thinking. That's just off the top of my head, Activision. You can take that shit for free and try to put it in the game, and I bet you'll see a massive increase in players playing your OBGA game modes. As always, ladies and gentlemen, this is my daily Call of Duty rant, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I need you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I do apologize for last video being super over the top and toxic. But sometimes we just need to go off, you know? Sometimes you just need to get it off your chest. And that's what I did last video. After 20 games of crap, I pumped out a very decent video, I thought, for a rant. And so far, it's my voice viewed video, not at like anything crazy, but 20 views. That's a lot for me. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you guys in the lobbies. Have a great one. Bye.